everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to if you are new here. My name is Lily and on this channel you can find content to do with personal development and mindfulness. So do subscribe if you would love those kinds of content. Make sure you press the notification button to get notified when I upload too. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about what is mental health and I really wanted to kind of discuss this topic because especially as I've really started to dive into personal development and mindfulness, as I've kind of been growing my network and reaching out to other individuals that are talking on similar topics, a lot of them talk about how they're uh, mental health advocates. And for a very long time, I felt like I couldn't really speak on mental health because I'd never suffered from any mental health issues. That in itself is actually not what mental health is and being a mental health advocate doesn't mean that you have to talk about depression and anxiety and all of these kinds of things that's bringing awareness to what can happen when you don't look after your mental health so i would then consider myself as a mental health advocate because i truly believe that prevention is better than a cure and of course everything that i talk about it's not necessarily going to it might not prevent you from suffering from mental health issues. However, it will help a lot of people. So for me, what I found really, really crazy is the kind of statistics in regards to how many people suffer from mental health issues. So I was reading an article, which I will link down below, um, and it was giving me stats in regards to mental health in the workplace. And it was something like one in four people experience mental health issues each year year in the workplace which is a really high number in my opinion that's a lot of people and what I find really crazy is that I actually speak to more people that have mental health issues or have suffered from mental health issues or still suffer from mental health issues or are suffering from mental health issues in regards to like just getting into it or just realizing that they have mental health issues or whatever it is, I come across more people like that than I do people that have never suffered from mental health issues. And I do feel blessed to be able to say that I've never suffered from mental health issues, but I think that sentence in itself is absolutely insane. I really want to talk about mental health and spread awareness because it's not normal, it's not okay, You're not, your body shouldn't function in that way. And I think that the number of people that are now suffering from mental health issues, it's almost like it's being brushed under the carpet, like, oh, it's the norm now, like, it's, it's such an average, like, pretty much everyone suffers from it, it's everyday life, but that's not, that's not normal, and it's not okay, and people need help, and I really think that we need to be looking into different ways, because what's happening right now, and the way that we're dealing with the matter and stuff like that isn't working, because, you know, the numbers are going higher, people are suffering, more and more people are suffering, rather than looking for excuses, or trying to find cures, and all of this and that, like, that's not, just teach people how to practice mental health and how to look after their mental health and how to practice mindfulness and and how to handle their emotions and their thoughts and and deal with those kinds of things because although it won't be the reason for some people it probably will be the reason for a lot of people and the majority of people and that's okay because obviously we as a collective as a as a as the human race the majority of us kind of think and function in the same way like we all know that you need to look after your physical health and that if you don't exercise and you don't eat well you're going to become unhealthy and later on down the line that can lead to health issues yes it might not do it for everyone, but for the majority of us, that is a fact. Like, we need to look after our health physically. So why are we not thinking about that in our mental health too? It, I, I find it bizarre that when you go to the doctors and you're suffering from mental health issues, all they're gonna do for you is just give you tablets to numb your pain. They don't give you any sort of support network in regards to helping you understand the lifestyle that you have at right now and maybe looking into that and seeing what areas you can improve in that are going to help that because food and exercise that physically helps your body also has an impact on your mental health too 
in regards to your brain function, brain fog, it, you know, serotonin is produced in your gut, all of these kinds of things, that's gonna have an impact on your mental health as well. But it's not the only thing, it's not the only thing that you need to do. It's also, you know, practicing mental health techniques in regards to gratitude, affirmations, journaling, speaking to like people, therapists, all those kinds of things. But also meditation is such a good way to practice mental health and so many other things that you can do in regards to your mental health and looking after your mental health that I don't think is given to people enough. And I definitely think it's, you know, for some people, I understand that you may need to be on medication for the rest of your life and maybe your body doesn't function how it should be in regards to producing serotonin regardless of what you do or whatever it is like there I understand that there are other health factors that will come into play maybe and that's why you're suffering suffering from mental health issues however I don't know why people aren't helped to understand and taught and you know given the support in the way that sometimes it is just as simple as practicing mindful things that I even myself am guilty of sometimes just brushing off because it, you don't think it has as big of an impact because it is such a gradual and small thing. But talking about that and bringing awareness to mental health in regards to that, like what is it? What is mental health? It's not depression, anxiety and suicidal thoughts or any other mental health issue. It's not, it's not that. Those are the issues if you don't look after your mental health. That's what comes. It's almost the same as saying, you know, oh, if you don't eat well and exercise, you could have high blood pressure or high cholesterol. Like, that's the side effects of not looking after your physical health. Depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts, whatever it is, is almost like the side effect. It's, it's what happens if you don't look after your mental health. So there are so many different ways to practice mental health. And I truly believe that the reason it's not spoken about, you know, when you go to your GP or your doctors and given to you as professional advice because it's very very subjective and everybody handles things differently what works for me might not necessarily work for you what works for you might not necessarily work for your next door neighbor your next door neighbor your next door neighbor or your sister or your best friend it's very very personal but there's definitely needs to be some sort of baseline of things that you can do things like a starting point a foundation in regards to you know when you are suffering from mental health issues you can go to your doctors they can give you the medication that kind of helps you and supports you but they really need to talk to you about how this is not forever and you should i feel like they don't give you that option of like okay we're going to put you on this to kind of help even things out and now we need to look into you know what is it that you're doing in your life these are some areas that you need to try and focus on and try and maybe adapt and change to see if this kind of improves and helps you in the long run you speak you can see so many influencers and just people online that really are mental health advocates and have suffered from mental health issues talking about things like how they love to exercise because it helps with their mental health because it really does help them alleviate the thoughts alleviate i don't even know if that's the right word but it really helps them release thoughts in their heads and they talk about practicing mental health you know tactic techniques and all of these kinds of things that help them deal with their mental health because it's not normal for us for us to be suffering from mental health issues and just being told it's like oh yeah just stay on this medication forever i i'm a bit like what what do you mean like <laughs> surely there has to be something better and again i understand that there's going to be people that do need to stay on it but as an example I'm not saying that they're the same, but in physical health form, for example, my cousin suffers from anemia in the sense of she has low B12. Actually, I don't, yeah, she has low B12. So she has to get injections, her B12 injections every three months. She has to do that for the rest of her life because she has autoantibodies in her stomach. So even if she's taking tablets, eating the right foods, her stomach just won't absorb B12 because she's got those autoantibodies in her stomach. I also suffered from an iron deficiency in B12. I did the blood test, came back saying that I, yeah, I was low with B12, and then I had to do another blood test to check to see if I also had autoantibodies in my stomach. 
I didn't have autoantibodies in my stomach. And the doctor so told me, okay, we're gonna give you these injections. They're gonna get your levels, your vitamin level back up to normal, but you need to make some lifestyle changes. You need to eat more of this. You need to look after, like, you know, you need to just make these lifestyle changes because it's to do with your diet. And I think that the way that they dealt with that is the exact same thing that we need to be doing with mental health. You know, when someone comes in and says, I'm suffering from, I feel like I'm suffering from depression, I'm having these thoughts, or I'm feeling very anxious, or whatever it is, okay, cool. Well, not cool, but you know. <laughs> okay, let's get you on these antidepressants, on this kind of thing. This is the side effects that's gonna happen, but we really need to help you in regards to your mental health and ways that you're dealing with it. What are you doing currently? How are you, you know, are you trying this? Are you doing this? Are you doing that? Well, you need to start practicing these things because we don't want you to be on this medication for life. The same way I didn't need to be t getting B12 injections for the rest of my life because I physically just needed to eat better and fuel my body better. Your mind is the exact same thing. We need to look after it properly. And I really think that people need to understand that's what mental health is. Mental health isn't, oh, it's depression and anxiety. No, those are mental health issues, not mental health. And I was a very big um, culprit of doing this in the sense that when I heard the, word, heard the word mental health, because I'd never suffered from mental health issues, I thought I didn't need to look into it. I thought I didn't need to, I didn't need to worry about it. It's fine, oh, I'm fine, I've never had depression, I've never had anxiety, I'm good. Like, no. <laughs> if I don't want to ever get depression, anxiety, all of those kinds of issues that come with you know mental health issues because you have a lack of mental health i need to practice mental health it's as simple as that it's the same as looking after your body you need to exercise and eat well so that you are physically healthy you need to practice mental health so that you are mentally healthy <laughs> i hope that that kind of makes sense and that it's definitely brought a bit of enlightenment especially if you are watching this and just like me you've never suffered from mental health so you've always kind of just brushed the topic under the carpet and been like it's fine i don't need to look into it no honey uh, -uh. look into it suffering from stress is also a form of mental health issues just saying being having a stressful day like you know and being able to manage that is good mental health having a stressful day and taking it out on others making bad decisions getting all worked up even causing you not to eat for example because that does happen to some people i know it happens to me personally if i'm really really stressed and i'm not managing my stress very well I can't eat, I physically become very, un like I just don't get hungry, which is not healthy because you're not then fueling your body properly, which then can, you know, lead to other issues. But stress in itself is also a mental health issue and understanding that everyone definitely han like, d has stress and will come into contact with stress in their life. You need to learn mental health and how to manage that and how to have an absolute healthy mind and it takes the rest of your life to continuously do this it's the exact same as physical exercise you need to have mental exercise too you need to develop your mind all the time practice those menti mentally healthy mentally healthy <laughs> practice your mental health you know methods that work for you there's so many people out there that share what works for them try it all out it is really to do with trial and error there's no wrong or right it's just again just like physical exercise what works for one person workout routine eating habits all of that kind of stuff might not necessarily work for you and i have followed many incredible fitness influencers and advocates whatever that literally say this like i could share my you know eating habits and workout routine with 10 people and all of them will get different results because our bodies are different the shapes are different the way that they absorb things are different and everything. It's just all different. So it is very personal to you. And I really wanna just stress that enough so that you take the time to look into it and really dive into what works for you for mental health because this is a prevention for you know depression, anxiety, also helps you with stress relief, all of those kinds of things. Granted, it's not a cure and granted, you can practice great mental health and still potentially, you know, suffer from mental health issues. However, 
for the majority of us, it will help and will be preventative, just like physical health, just saying. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do give it a like, leave a comment down below. I would love to know what kind of mental health practices that you guys do that really, really help you. I'm always kind of looking to explore different things because I've found a couple that work for me, but I love trying new stuff and just seeing how those work. So I really would love it if you just shared those with me in the comments below. Also just subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video and also want to continue watching more videos that I'm coming out with. I upload every Wednesday at 6 p.m. and make sure that you turn the notification button on so that you don't miss a video. So I'll see you next week with another one. Thanks guys. Bye.